Well, hello, Internet. Toaster Tom here, and it's time for lunch break. It's the time during my work day where I take a break from playing video games to play more video games. I'm with my good friend here, Jason. He's going to share my lunch, sharing our lunch with me, and today we have our lunch from Steve and Irene's Hoagies in, uh, what was it? Uh, Mayfield, Pennsylvania. Mayfield, Pennsylvania. Uh, I am snacking on a plain, a plain cheesesteak, just plain steak and cheese. I'm a very bland individual. Uh, Jason here. I'm eating the Pittsburgh. For those of you that, for those of you curious to know, the Pittsburgh is a cheesesteak that has been topped with French fries and a spicy ranch sauce. Or, as I like to refer to it, a culinary orgasm in my mouth. Well, as I said, we started a lunch break is where I basically where basically play more video games because we're not just going to sit here in front of a camera and just eat and just describe how good the food is we're eating. I mean, That'd be stupid. Yeah. I mean, that... who does that? Uh, today, we are going to be playing... Actually, I probably should have had this ready. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a, uh, a call go through of caveman games for the NES. Released by Data East in 1990 for the NES, an Olympic game simulator with caveman themed events. There are six Neanderthletes to choose from, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Who will win this lunchtime battle? You know, I don't think I've ever actually played caveman games. Well, you're in for a treat. So, uh, how about we continue on eating? We pop this thing into the old nest and, uh, well, let's get going. Uh, Ugma. Ugma is strong in fire making and dino riding. Alright, so who am I gonna be? Who am I gonna be? No, Gromp kinda looks like you. Yeah, I think that's gonna make me play Gromp. Very skilled in all events. We start the game. Start the game. <laughs> Round one. Intimidation phase. This is where we gotta push like back and forth, maybe? I don't know. Ah, ah! That is where it's smash. A flurry of bonks ensue. Ah! How do I? I don't even know. I can't club anything! Stop that! Ah! What are you ah. doing? Da hey! Ah, 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 ah. It's not even like I'm swinging a club, it's like I'm swinging a turkey leg! <laughs> Tom drives Jason to the cliff edge. <laughs> Oh. I win by default, I think. You didn't win by default, you killed my ass! <laughs> what? I don't know why I can't actually do anything. Oh, A is apparently the club button. Sure, but let, let's. Seems I didn't know that, let's, let's just do that. Claiming to not grasp the controls the first go, Tom takes a fall in round two to even the score. Okay, now I know what we're doing here. Final round. <laughs> Jason makes a furious comeback. <laughs> you use my own tactics against me! <laughs> I just discovered the spam noise! <laughs> Mate Toss. Wow, she has got some massive thighs right there. Well, she's a cave wife. Come to myself. Yet strangely shaven. She just broke her neck, I think. Good speed, but a weak angle. Hey, hey it's my wife. I think we have the same wife. Questions of polygamy aside, Jason tosses the caver. I think we're just about even on that throw. Not quite. Tom is one foot's further. Round two. Oh, no, I, uh, oh 
hello! I missed the angle again, I cannot believe I did that. This is an awfully misogynistic game. Yeah. Another angle anomaly. Deciding round. Uh, uh, oh, I did it again! I need some practice on this thing. Ah. Tom beats his own record at 46 foot. But still not enough to win. Next is Dino Vault. Hmm, I'm gonna try... My god, that, that dinosaur is like hydrocephalic. I'm gonna try for a uh, low one because I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think it's an ABAB. -B. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Okay, I was wrong. I think B starts the vault. Yeah. And you gotta hold it. And let go at a certain point, I guess. Apparently, you have to let go at a certain point. Technically, you're winning since you made it further down the ramp. <laughs> a lack of understanding hurts both Neanderthleets. Now I'm technically winning because I actually bolted into something. <laughs> yeah, we also died. Can Jason repeat this feat? No. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. Why do you speak yeah? I mean, it didn't taste very good. I mean, I thought dinosaurs just ate people for a living. Well, I am hairy. <laughs> Next event. Uh, the Dino Race. I believe this is, uh, where Ugma is like. Alright, what do I do here? I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, is it, uh. Putting a positive spin, it is a neck and neck race. Run, damn you! <laughs> what? I... Am I su I'm supposed to be good at this! I don't even. Mine's not even doing anything! Then finally. Oh, you gotta keep on pressing A. I got it. Keep on pressing A. Okay. Alright, we got this. I got this! Alright, I got it now! Oh, now I gotta jump! Ah! No! Ah! Rocks and other hazards still get in the Jeez, way. Worse than, worse than excite bike. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, don't let it hit. Come on, don't let that bolt son of a bitch beat me. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you. Uh, lap two, allegedly. Or foot two. Oh my god, there is more than one lap. <laughs> oh. Tom finishes. Hey, Jay. Huh? You better rename your dinosaur Denver, because you're the last dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> you know what you refers to? Extinction. Cruel banter from Tom as the overall score is tied. What, I have to finish the race? Is that going to just let me die in defeat? <laughs> One more insult from this harsh event. Did I, did I, did I, am I done? Or? I think you're done, yes. Oh, thank God. Fire making. A heated race to kindle a flame. Oh, okay, no, it isn't. <laughs> just pressing A. I think B just hits the other person. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me! Stop at it! Stop at it! We're gonna be at this forever, just keep hitting. <laughs> It's 
quickly turns into another clubbing event. Neither get a fire going, and time eventually runs out. Okay, how about we just set up, set up our, set aside our differences, and let's just, you know, try to make a fire as fast as we can. Truce? Okay. I will abide by the rules and standards of our Geneva Convention of Cavemen. A mostly ah. silent second round. Ah, ah! Jeez, this, this is hard just... In and of itself. No, I can do that. Victory. <sighs> However. Uh, oh, do I still have to do mine? Uh, again? <laughs> wow. This what? game is just a prick. I give up. <laughs> Tom is now in the lead. Final event. Oh. The oh, another race. The, the Shaper race. Sure to be a crowd pleaser. Is this the run where you have to run from saber tooth tigers? Yeah, and there's only one round. Oh, well, that's good. How do I run? Good question. Maybe it's just pressing A. Like, it might be the same as the dino race. It is, actually. You sure about that? Because I'm not doing anything. Just pressing A. Now you're pressing B. Oh crap, I'm still at the run. <laughs> The race is not over. Ah, ah. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, Short and sweet. Final placement. There is still some time left, and so, for a bit of fun... We're gonna bust out the advantage for this. The Nintendo Advantage, an arcade joystick feel complete with turbo fire function. Turbo Mate Toss. Just saying. Ah! I wasn't trying to get over 80. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to give it a shot? Sure! sure. Come on, go plaid! Go plaid! <laughs> I don't know what the f*** I just did. Despite easier speed gathering, the correct angling eludes both players. I'm going to try to tag team this. You work on the, uh, the speed and I'll do the, uh, the A and B. They decide to work together. by a cave lady chicken dance. New record! What do we get? What do we get? 73! So yeah, that is Caveman Games. Uh, my lunch break is almost about over. So, um, Jason, how was uh, your apparent first experience with this uh, gem of the late 80s? Early 90s. This game? <laughs> it's not that bad. I, I... No, it's it's obviously not that bad. It's just, it's frustrating because it comes down to... Ma because most of the mini games just come down to mashing the A button or, like, randomly hitting the B button. There's there's not a lot of depth here. Although, it, it does matter uh, which character you pick a great Cr deal. Character matters a lot because if you pick the wrong character... 
you might do okay at something, or if you pick the, the wrong character, you're just going to fail at life forever. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, according to time, uh, i got to get back to work, so uh, it's easy. Get out of my house. Yeah. <laughs>